Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So it's time for the Dinner with the Queen necklace, or actually the Tivoli Rivoli necklace. So I here's the necklace. For those of you who haven't seen the other pieces, we have the earrings, we have the bracelet, we have the ring. So we've got a lot of pieces going on. For those of you who like coordinating pieces, or you know, just maybe just like a necklace, or you like a pair of earrings, or whatever. So here's the necklace, and I'm going to do it basically like this okay I haven't added these yet it is gorgeous just like this but if you are going out with the gals or having dinner with the queen <laughs> or special occasion with the hubby hey or just any time at all I'm gonna show you how to add the drops so you can add the drops this way you can add the drops this way and do two more here so really up to, you can have no drops at all. You can just do, you know, whatever you like. Um, but this is going to be the, this is what I'll show you how to eventually come up with. But the, the video is going to be making this part, of, this part of the necklace. And I'll, at the end, I'll show you how to add the drops on. All right, so I don't want to waste too much time, so let's get a materials list going so we can get started. Now, it's going to be a long video because we have two bezels, we have, you know, the chain, we have we have to put everything together, so I'm going to put time stamps for each part, and you can just, in the description box below the video, so you can take a look, and, um, you know, if you stop in the middle, you'll know where to go back to, let's say if you're at the point where you're attaching the, the necklace, or you're attaching your units together or you're attaching the drops or the clasps. So look at those timestamps because that's going to help you a lot rather than constantly rewinding on a long video like this. So all right, so I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to get notified when I upload a video, subscribe and ring the bell, that little bell button, so that you'll get notified every time I upload. All right. Let's clear this off and get a materials list going. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So to do the basic necklace, you'll need five 14 millimeter Rivoli's. And I just want to um, answer a question here that I get all the time when I use a 14 millimeter. If you don't have a 14, can I use a 12 millimeter? You can, you can bezel a 12 millimeter Rivoli easily, but it's going to change the whole design. The outside is not going to be the same. The necklace... Um, will we'll have to change a little bit. So you can't just like stick a, four, a 12 millimeter Rivoli in there. You know, it will be like a whole new necklace design. But I'd say play with it if you have just 12 millimeter Rivoli's. You could, you know, I think it would be beautiful either way. So anyway, I just wanted to address that. So you'll need five of the Rivoli's. If you're doing this one, you'll need six. Two colors of Delica's. I'm using a, a metallic and a color. 15 O seed bead, 11 O seed bead. I'm using some three millimeter bicones for the outside. You can use those little rondelles from Eureka Crystal Beads, and I'll link those down below. They fit beautifully in here as well. You'll need, if you're doing the one with the drops, you'll need some of these fancy stones. These are 10 by 14 millimeter fancy stones. So here, you'll need at least three of them or five of them, depending on you know how you want to um, configure your necklace. So I'll put those there. You'll need a three millimeter pearl. You need some four millimeter pearls and that's for this necklace. A lot of pearls going on in this necklace. Um, so you'll need a bunch of them and don't under order if you know make sure you have enough because I ran out and I, I'm a, it's a bummer because I really wanted to finish it and I have to order them. So you've got some four millimeter pearls. We have, did I say clasp and stop bead? Size 10 beading needle and I have a 12. I'm using eight pound fire line for this entire thing. You can use dragon thread for the bezel and if you want you can use fire line to do all the embellishment. On the video I do pretty much the whole thing just using one thread um, and then I use another thread to connect the units. So I used fire line for everything but if you like to do it separately which I would recommend um, use the dragon thread for the bezel and then use the fire line for embellishment and putting your units together. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, check the description box below the video for all colors, shapes, sizes, amounts of beads that you're going to need for this necklace. Don't forget the coupon codes I have down there. That you, oh, take a look because I have one for Eureka Crystal Beads, 10% off your order of $25 or more, and that's good until December 31st, so take advantage of that. 
Um, there's a coupon code for Ringberry's mat. That's the big mat I use on the bottom here. That's 10% off. The, the Eureka Crystal Beads code is Pony10, I believe, but I will put all the any code that I have down below in the description box. Links to beads, links to bead websites, information, anything I need to add or you know adjust, I will put down there. So please click the down hour and the show more so you get all that info. All right, clearing everything off and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So we'll start with the 14 millimeter Rivoli. And we have done this before with the bracelet and the earrings. It is not the same bezel as the ring. So this is a little bit different than the ring bezel. So uh, you're going to, we're going to use all, I'm going to use all fire line. Now I love the dragon thread for a bezel, but we're going to make the unit with one thread. And I'd rather put these bicones and the, you know, the embellishment on the outside on with fire line rather than dragon thread. So I'm using all fire line. So what I say, about 30 inches of thread, put a stop bead on about in the middle. You're gonna pick up and drop down to your stop bead, 36 of your delicas. Now you can alternate them like I do or not. You can do them any color combo you like. Let's see if I can, okay, there we go. We're gonna sew those into a circle. So up through the first bead after my stop bead to make a circle. Okay, now I'm going to add some delicas. So I'm exiting the red bead. I'm going to skip this next gold one and I'm going to sew through the next red one. I have a gold delica on my needle. I'm going to sew through the next red one. So when you're doing this with alternating beads, all you have to do is pick up your color, so the gold, sew through the red. Picking up a gold, if you're not alternating, you're exiting here, you're going to skip this bead and sew through the next bead. So the, we the same bezel that we, you know, we did on the bracelet, it's peyote bezel, we can do that all the way around and then we're going to step, hey, coming down to the end, I'm going to step up now. So picking up a gold delica, exiting the red, I'm going to skip the gold and sew through the red one and the gold one on the diagonal. Like that. This is what I have. Now I'm going to hold it, kind of get a little pull tight, just hold my thumb in there and I'm going to add some 15 O's. So I'm just going to pick up a 15 out and sew through every sticking out delica, which is the gold one, just like that. I'm just going to do that all the way around. And then you're going to step up and do another round. So I'll just let you do that on your own and then meet me back here at the end of the second round. Okay, coming down to the end of my second round of 15 out, so I'm I have a 15 on my needle. I'm exiting this 15 I'm going to sew through this one and the one on the diagonal. It's going to step me up and give it a pull. And I'm done with that side. Okay? Okay, so we've done one side. Now I'm going to turn my piece over and I am I will be exiting that center bead. So for me it's this red bead right here, the red delica. So I want to get to the outside edge. So I'm just going to sew right through that gold bead just on the diagonal to get to the outside like that. And now I have my thread where I want it. I'm just going to give it a little pull. And at this point I'm going to put my stone in. I'll pull this all looks like and I'm just going to add my 15 O's so exiting the gold delica I'm going to sew through the next gold delica with a 15 O and I'm just going to do that all the way around and then I'm going to step up and I'm going to step up and do another round so two rounds on this side and then we'll continue okay we're back and our bezel is done so we have still have two threads on here. So I'm going to take my back thread, so here, like that, and I'm going to, I'm exiting 15-0, I'm going to work my way to this gold 
Delica, like that's closest to the 15 O's. So I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this 15 O and then this gold Delica. And I'm just going to put that thread aside. And I'm going to go to the front of my bezel. I'm exiting, because we're going to use that. I'm exiting this 15 O. Again, I'm going to move my thread. I'm going to sew through that 15 O and then this gold Delica and then this red one. So the color, that center Delica, if you're not doing a color, it's going to be the one right here. Okay, so now my threads are set up to put more beads on. It's like that. Now, if you um, want to do the embellishment separately, you can clip off your threads and add a new thread and do the embellishment that way. So you'll add a thread here and you'll for the back, you can also add a thread or can you continue using that thread? I'm do, do, doing the unit all in one thread. I don't usually do that, but I thought it might, you know, it would be okay with this one. So I'm going to get some delicas, my gold delicas, and I'm going to do a little stitch in the ditch. So I'm exiting this red one, just with the center bead here, just sew through the next center bead. Do that all the way around. Like that. See what it's going to look like. And you're just going to continue all the way around until you get to the end and add a little pull. All right, I kind of split my thread there a little bit, so I'm going to fix that. All right, so just go all the way around and then we'll continue. Okay, coming down to the end, I'm putting on my last gold delica. So exiting the red, I'm going to sew through this red one like that. And then before I sew through this one, I'm going to sew through this gold Delica right there. I just want to end. I want this to be tight. Then I'm going to sew through the red one right here. And you just maneuver your needle around to get it in there. Come here, you. It's a little tight. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go through this red one and then the gold one at the top. So I did that just to sort of tighten everything up. So through that one and then through this one. So you want to be exiting, you know, one of the delicas that you put on with your stitch in the ditch. All right. So now we're going to add some more embellishments. So 11 O's and some bicones, or you can use fire pop, um, those little rondelles here. So I'm going to pick up Bicone, Rondell, and then sew through the next sticking out bead, which is the stitch in the ditch bead. Then I'm going to go to an 11 0, and I'm going to go to a Bicone, and I'm going to go to an 11 0, and then a Bicone. Like this, I'm just going to do that all the way around. And then meet me at the end, and we'll continue. Okay, we're back, so I'm coming down to the very end. And I am going to put on my last couple of beads. So a bicone, and then my 11 0 right here. And then I'm going to sew through the next bicone, Delica. I'm just going to sew around a bit. Like that. You can sew all the way around if you like. So just through the pie cones. And if you have enough thread after you've gone around, you can use that thread to sew in, to sew your units together. So I'll leave that up to you, or you can add a thread to sew the units on. So we've done, so we've gotten this. If you're going to use this thread to sew your units together, you want to be exiting one of the pie cones. And then, well, I'm just going to let you get to that point. Okay, so. Before we go on, we're going to leave that thread before we go on with the front and we're going to go to the back and I have this thread exiting one of these gold delicas right here on the edge. I'm going to add some, I'm going to add fire polish beads and 11 O's. You can do a pearl here. I did a pearl on 
I think on the bracelet. So I put a pearl on the bottom like that and it lifts it up off your skin, see? Um, but I didn't have enough pearls. You can see it. Yes, you can see it from the side and the pearls look very pretty there. But I think a fire polish looks just as nice. So I'm just gonna pick up an 11 -0 fire polish, three millimeter fire polish and 11 -0. Exiting right here, I'm going to skip the next gold one and sew through the following one. So I'm just working with that last round of Delica beads, like that. Picking up an 11-0 fire polish, 11-0. Exiting here, I'm going to sew. I'm going to skip this one and sew through the next one. So just that bottom round. Do it one more time. 11-0 fire polish, 11-0. Exiting here, skip this one. So through the next one, you got it. Do that all the way around, and then you can reinforce by going through all the beads. Again, tying half hitch knots um, before your fire polish, fire polish beads, and this gives you a nice base for your unit. Okay, we're back. So I have all the units uh, made that I want to use, and you know, you'll just keep making them until you have as many as you like. And my necklace has five units. Okay, I think an odd number is good, especially if you want to add the embellishment. So five, seven, you know, you can go, keep going on. That's all I had, so that's what I used. All right. So to sew these together, you want the, a slight curve for necklace. Now we did the bracelet. We did not want a curve, so we sewed them together in a way that would make them straight. All right, so we're going to do it a little bit differently for the necklace. So I'm going to take my center of my five, I only have three out obviously. And I'm going to just place this one down. Notice I have a thread coming out of this bicone right here. So you wanna be exiting this bicone, one of the side bicones. When I put my finger over my bicones, I have four at the top. So that's how I've situated my, my com first component. So they have four beads at the top. You're always gonna have four of the bicones at the top and five at the bottom. So I'm exiting this bicone. So I have these four exiting this one. Now I added a thread because I didn't like how my thread was feeling after I finished my embellishment. So you know, I always have my ad adding thread video um, linked down below. So either add a thread, or if your thread is feeling good and you know you can you can continue you to use it. So I'm going to add this unit to this unit by sewing through the four bicones. So I have one, two here, and two here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a pearl, and I'm just going to sew through a bicone on the other side. It doesn't really matter which one, because it's just gonna sit in the right place, You're just because you want, you want to make sure that these two coincide with the other two. There we go. So just like that. Now I'm just going to turn my piece. So now that I've got it through a bicone, you know, I'm not really worried about it. So at this point, I'm exiting the bicone. I'm going to sew through the Delica that's right beneath that bicone, like that. If you need to switch to a size 12 beading needle, you can at this point. And that's going to pull those that unit together. Now I'm going to reverse direction, and if you did the bracelet, this is what we did, and I'm going to sew through this Delica. Just going to work my way around until I'm at the top here again. So through this Delica, this 15 -0. and what what's good about this is that it it sews the pieces together on the actual bezel as well as the bicones, so you're not just hanging on the bicones. I'm gonna go sew through this Delica, and I could probably go down a needle size. I won't just because I wanna get through here, but a size, even an 11 would work. So this 15 -0. I'm getting through with the 10, but I, you know, I just don't want you to struggle. This one, so I wanna exit, I wanna come up this way, so I'm just gonna keep going through this 15 -0. And then this Delica, so on the diagonal until I get up to where that bicone is. So I'm there. I'm going to reverse direction and go through this Delica. And if it can get through the bicone, 
so through that bicone as well. I've just moved my thread around, right? And then I'm going to pick up another pearl, just moving my piece, and I'm going to sew through this bicone on the other side. This is the worst part, you know, of the, the pickiest part is just getting, you know, getting this situated. So I'm exiting this bicone now. I can do the same thing on this, on this side. I'm going to sew through the delica that's, oops, the delica that's right underneath the bicone, right there. I know it's a little picky, but it makes for a nice, tight, and secure bit, uh, secure connection. So exiting here now, reversing direction. And then I'm going to sew through the same number of beads. So through the 15 now that I did on the other side. This Delica. This 15 now. This Delica. This 15 now. And then this Delica. Like that. I'm going to reverse direction. I'm going to sew through this Delica and this Bicom. You can get them both at the same time. So I just did the exact same thing on this side that I did on the other side. And I'm just going to leave it at that point um, and then we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> so we'll continue on. So we're exiting this Bicom right here. I'm just going to sew directly through this pearl. Like that. Then I'm going to pick up an 11 0. And I'm going to sew through this 11 0 right here. Like that. I'm going to pick up another 11 0. And I'm going to sew through the pearl. Eleven o through this eleven o. So just going around sort of that circle, adding some eleven o's. Eleven o through this pearl. So we've added. See what we did? We've added a couple of eleven o's on either side. Just gonna reinforce that by sewing through all the beads again. Just the 11 O's and all these, and the little pearls. So I'm exiting the pearl. Oh, what well, the pearl after I've sewn everything around again. I'm just want it reinforced really nicely. It's you know it's a substantial necklace, so you want to make sure everything is put together nicely. Now you can leave it just like that if you like, and have sort of an open connection there, so it, it you know you'll see the skin through there. Or you can take a did I take a bicone? I did. I took a bicone, and I am exiting this pearl. I'm just going to sew through the pearl on the other side from the opposite direction. So exiting here, sewing through here. And that'll place the bicone right in the center so you have that. So you can, like I said, you can do it either way. You can just leave the, the bicone off or put it on. And then I'm just going through the beads. And I'm going to sew in, sew my threads in. I would sew your threads in. You can sew around these, this edge, or you can get on, to, just hop onto the bezel and sew through there, but just make sure, or you can even sew around your actual connection part there and put some half hitch knots in. So there you go, you have, that's your connection. So when you're doing your next connection, you're gonna put it right here. So do you see how that makes it curve? So I have these two, I have four at the top, then I put, if I put these two on, 
with the pearl here, it's gonna, we're going to add just right here, just right to that edge, just like that, and then so on. The next one's going to go here, the next one's going to go here, so that you have a gentle curve going around. And remember, you'll always have those four at the top once you get everything on. All right? So go on, connect your units, and, um, you know, have patience and maybe have a little cup of tea in between. <laughs> and then come on back and we'll, we'll trudge on. All <laughs> right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back for a second because I just wanted to show you that I tried a pearl in the center instead of the bicone, the three millimeter pearl, and I like it. I like the way it looks. I think it gives it a nice um, little bit of a separation. But that's up to you. So I thought I'd show you that. And so I wanted to show you three units together. So here are the first two units that we did right here. And then here I added my next unit on. So notice I have one, two, three, four bicones at the top. I've added my unit, the two units on the side to these two, to these two bicones here. My next unit will go right here with these bicones here. I'll have four bicones at the top and so on. So you see how we're getting a very, a very nice slight curve. That's what you want. All right, so have fun and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's bezel this little 10 by 14 millimeter oval. So thread your needle with a couple of feet of thread, put on a stop bead about in the middle, maybe a little over two feet. So I put on and drop down to my stop bead 30 of my delicas. And here I alternated my colors again, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm gonna sew those into a circle. Like that. And then I'm going to add my delicas. So I'm exiting my red one or this bead, skipping the next one and sewing through the following bead. So the red bead. And if you're alternating, you're just picking up a bead gold one, sewing through the red one. If you're just doing all one color, exiting here, picking up a bead, skipping the gold one, adding a gold bead through the next red bead. Like that. Just going to do that all the way around and then we'll step up. Okay, we're back. So let's um, step up. I'll pull in a teeny bit more. So here I've put on this gold bead. I'm exiting the red one, picking up a gold. I'm going to skip this one and sew through the red one and the gold one on the diagonal. That steps me up. And now I'm going to add one more round of delicas. So I'm going to be picking up a red one because I want to put it here. So exiting the gold, picking up a red. Sewing through the next gold bead, and I'm going to do that all the way around. Holding my thumb in it, a little pull inward and a little out, so getting a little bit of a curve. There you go. Do that all the way around, and we'll step up. Okay, coming down to the end, so picking up my last red bead. My delica, I'm going to sew through this gold one and then the red one on the diagonal. That's what I have. At this point I like to just hold it on my, with my thumb and forefinger. Now we're going to do 15 O's. So exiting the red delica, just going to sew through the next one, adding 15 O's. So very similar at this point to the previous one. So put a 15 out in between each delica and because you're experts now, put another round on. So do one round, step up, and then put another round on and then we'll start the back. Okay, we're back. So this side is done. I'm gonna leave this thread right now. Take off my stop bead and thread my needle. And I'm just gonna move this thread to the outside so I can put beads on here. So I'm exiting this red one right now. Just gonna sew through this one like that. Not pulling tight yet because I want to put the stone in. So now I'm going to put my stone in. 
So in, in anticipation of sewing this onto the to the unit, let me pull this one out. You know, if that's what you want to do, I want to kind of center the way I put this stone in because it's an oval, so we're gonna to have to center that a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop my stone in like this and just give it a press down so it sits into place like that and I'm gonna look at the top and I'm kind of moving my bezel a little bit just to situate my beads the way I want them and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like in a second I just want to get it straight so let me pull that and let me pull this side and then I'll give you a look at what I'm talking about all right so this is how I have my stone in. And when we sew it to this, the, um, the rivoli, you'll probably, you'll end up sewing it most likely to this bead here or these two coming down, however you want to do it. So you want, you want to be able to sew it to this, this, um, units so that it sort of looks even. So the way I did this is I situated my my stone in my bezel so that I have see that center delica right there? It's kind of at the top of my stone here and you just sort of divide your stone down the middle and then you can kind of see and if you have to move it a little bit, you know, kind of move it around a little bit till it gets there. And also if you notice like these two beads, these two gold beads, they're kind of centered on the top too. And if they're not, just give it a little move around and till they're sort of centered right there. And that's just sort of in anticipation to of attaching this so you have some nice even space spaces to attach it. You see there? Like that. So I like to think ahead in those things. And all the while, while you're bezeling this other side, because you're going to put two rounds of 50 notes, you want to make sure that you're not pulling that out of, out of, um, off the top, you know, pulling it off center. So you'll just keep playing with it as you do it. And that's, you know, just something that I think is a good thing to do when you're, you know, bezeling an oval, you know, or a, a stone that's not round and you want to connect it to something. So I'm just adding 50 notes all the way around just like I did before. Okay, and then I'm just I'm gonna do this round and then I'm gonna do a second round and then I'm gonna step up. And just remember, try to keep something, you know, your center beads where you decide you want them, sort of in that place. And you, you know, it's if it goes off like a millimeter, you can just kind of massage it a little bit till it goes correct. But I'm just saying like anticipation of attaching it. All right, so get two rounds done. Get one round done, step up, get the second round done, and then come on back and we'll continue. We're back. So now we're going to just do a little stitch in the ditch embellishment. So I'm going to use 11 O's here. So here I'm still on the front of my bezel and I'm, I've just finished and stepped up and I, you know, I'm checking out my center. This bead looks like it's centered, looks pretty good to me. I'm exiting this 15 O. I'm going to sew through this 15 O on the diagonal, through this gold one and then through this red one. And then I'm gonna start adding my fit stitch in the ditch. You can even go back down one more and add it. I'm gonna add it right here. So I'm just taking up, picking up a gold 11 and I'm sewing through every one of the red delicas, like that. Oops, do that again just in case I a little bit. So wherever you sew through is just going to, so this is, see how that's sewn through the red one. You can go back one again and it'll push the stitch in the ditch back further a little bit. It's, you know, this part of the embellishment is really just um, what you like, what looks pretty to you. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. Just like that. I'm going to continue it all the way around and then I'm just going to sew this thread in and sew my back thread in. And you know, just do that by sewing. I sew through the bezel as much as I, you know, a, a, you know, all the way around if I can on the diagonal and then reverse direction, clip off your threads and then you'll have your little um, bezel done. Okay, we're going to start the necklace now. 
So we're, we're going to do the two sides separately and sew them onto the units. So that's what it looks like. So let's get started with that. So thread your needle with, if you can do five or six feet of thread, do it. If not, do less and you can always add thread. Put on a stop. You want to leave about a 12 inch tail so that we have room to put on this little extender if you need it. So I picked up and dropped down to my stop bead four of my four millimeter pearls. And I'm going to sew those into a circle. You know, to right angle weave unit. By sewing through the first pearl after my stop bead. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go through this one. Just to sort of anchor it down. I'm going to hold it like this. So do you see where my thread is coming out? My thread is exiting the bottom bead of this right angle weave unit. So I'm using these rondelles that were in Eureka Crystal Beads most recent collection, the Hearthside collection. So you have a whole strand of these because I, I ran out of the three millimeter bicones. I think these are two by three millimeter. It'll be in the description box below the video. So you know exactly um, you know what to get, but there were several strands. So if you're doing green, I think there was an emerald strand. I think there was sort of a cream um, A B strand. So you you can you don't have to use the bicones. It looks just as pretty, you know, with the bicones around the bezels, but with this around the the necklace. All right. So I picked up one of my either a bicone or a rondelle and three of my pearls exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one. Notice the direction I'm coming through, I'm coming down like that. I'm going to bypass, just skip that red bead, the rondelle, see, and sew through the next pearl. Like that, making sure that that thread goes behind the rondelle. That's what it looks like. Do that again. My red bead, my rondelle, or bicone, three of my pearls exiting here, sewing through this one. Pulling it, see how I'm pulling it towards the other beads like that? Bypassing the rondelle, just skip it and sew through the next pearl. Making sure that that thread, see where that thread is? That it slips behind the rondelle. Just like that. Just going to do this all the way down. Do it one more time. Rondelle. Three pearls. Exiting here. So through this one. Making sure I'm pulling it. By, just pull this way as well. Bypass the rondelle. Just skip it and sew through the next bead. Giving a little pull towards the back. That's what I have. Just going to do that all the way down one side. And you'll have to just determine um, if that, you know, the length of that side. So, of course, you're going to take it. So, I just divide my whole piece in half and I add this on to this to the side to get my length. And it's a collar. So a collar or slightly below, you don't want it too low, you know, you want it to rest actually on those collarbones or right beneath the collarbones. You have to hold it up and see what you think. And um, this is the extender piece. So if you make it slightly short, which I did, actually did it intentionally so it wasn't too long, because if you make it slightly shorter, you can always add an extender piece on. So you never, your sizing is always going to be right. So especially with this. Um, air on the side of maybe being slightly shorter and just add the extender piece. So do this um, all the way down until you get to the, you know, to the size that you want. And then we're going to turn around and come back and uh, we're done with one side. All right. So get that done and we'll come back. Okay, we're back. So I have one side done. Now I'm going to make a turn. So remember, we have to make this curve. So exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this next pearl and then through this one. So this is where I'm exiting. Right here. 
I'm going to pick up three pearls. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through the other side of the pearl that I'm exiting. another unit. Then I'm going to pick up an 11 -0, and I'm going to sew from this pearl right up through the next one right here. So it looks like I'm going to pick up two pearls. exiting here. I'm going to sew through this pearl. So this one right here and then the one I'm exiting. So I'm bypassing that 11-0. I'm not going to sew through that 11-0. So just through this pearl and that one sort of, you know, diagonal from each other like that. Looks weird, but that it works. So two pearls go on. That's my unit. Do that again. 11-0 through the next one, two pearls, it's one, two, exiting right here, I'm going to sew through this one, bypass that 11 -0 and through the pearl I'm exiting, like that, pull, it's my next unit on. Should I do it one more time. 11 0. Up through the next one. Like that. Pearl. Another pearl. Two pearls. Exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one and then the one I'm exiting. Bypassing the 11 0. Just skip it. All right, this is what happens. This is what it looks like. It's already starting to curve. So putting that 11-0 in the middle is making it curve. And then we're going to put another bead on the end to make it curve even more. So you're just going to do this all the way down to the end and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, I'm coming down to the end. So here I'm going to put my 11-0 on. And then my stop bead. My last two pearls sewing through this one and then the one I'm exiting just tightening it up a little bit this is what my end looks like just like that okay then we're just so I'm exiting right that top pearl still a little more to go I'm going to sew through this one and then through this one. So I'm just going back down again. I want to get that curve really nice. It's already curving. I'm adding an 11 0 in between each pearl here. Now, if you're not satisfied with the curve after you put a few 11 0s on, Maybe do 15 O's instead. I found that the 11 O's worked nicely. It's a gentle curve. It kind of conforms to your neck. See, so it, when I straighten it out, it's, you know, let me pull that a little bit. So it's a very gentle curve. If you put a 15 O on, it's going to curve a lot. So I think the 11 O is the way to go. But uh, sometimes, you know, you ask me, especially if you're using, not using the same size pearl, you know, if your four millimeter is a little bit different than my four millimeter or another brand, or you're, you're using Toho, I'm using Almiyuki here, it can make a difference in how the beads sew. So this is, this is how my curve's going to be. A lot of the curve is going to be on my neck. Um, you know, my neck making the curve, but it is curving because I have a larger bead here and smaller beads here. So if you need a 15 0 there, put a 15 0 So just do that all the way around, putting an 11 0 or 15 0 in between each pearl 
and then we'll continue. We're back, and this is how mine is curved. So if you notice, if I, you know, just if I do that, it straightens out my buckles. If I pull, because all my beads are pulling the curve, this is how I curve. I'm going to leave it just like that. So the 11 O's are a perfect fit for the Miyuki beads. I'm just telling you that if you find that you're not getting your curve, just try a different size. All right, so here, this is my whole end. I'm just going to, so I'm exiting this pearl. I'm going to sew through this pearl. Okay, and I'm not going to pull it too tight because you know as you pull this thread, it's going to pull these tight. I don't want them too tight. I'm going to hold my tension right there. I'm going to sew through this bead. I just want to kind of end this off so it doesn't, you know, pull out anymore. I just want the curve the way I want it, just like that. So then I've gone through this bead. Um, I'm going to sew through, let's see, actually I'm going to go straight down through these two. I'm not going to tie the thread off. I'm going to use this thread to add the embellish the um, extender on. So here I'm going to sew through this one. So I'm just sewing around my beads. I'm going to come straight up through all of these until I exit that this pearl right here. So there and right here. Right. And that's just, I'm just leaving that thread there for now um, so I can add the extender on. Um, what we'll do right now is we'll add this and to the rivelace. All right, so just get to this point and then we'll do it. Okay, this. we're back and I'm ready to sew my necklace to my unit. So all my units are together, like so. And I have the side done. Now I just wanted to note that using the rondelles made my necklace curve just a little bit more than the bicones. So just saying, you know, the beads depend, the curve is going to depend on the width of the beads you put on. So, so far working out very well. So we're going to sew to the back, so I'm just going to turn it over like that. I'm going to thread a needle with about a little over two feet of thread, and I'm going to put a needle at each end. So we're going to use both ends of the thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach, let me pull in for this, okay. I'm going to attach this fire polish bead to these three right here. So we're going to make a unit here. So if you want to do a little counting on where you're going, so my piece, my here are my units. If I start counting from here, one, two, three, number four unit. So I'm just going to sew right through there. My thread about halfway through, and then I'm going to sew through this bead right here. And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm just going to sew through this bead like that. Let's see if I can move all this. Well, here, I'll just pull it through and then you'll see the thread path. Right? And I'm going to make sure it's sort of, you know, half and half, right? So this is the thread path. Pull. Do you see how that pulls it right together? What you're going to do with each thread is you're going to start weaving around and around. You're just at right angles, come through again, weave this one around, go around, come through here again until you feel it's nice and secure. I, I'll let you go ahead and do that on your own. Just get you started. So just start by going up this one. So I don't want to make the video too long. I think at this point you can then go this way, this way, this way, this way. You can turn around, you know, just, just weave right through your necklace. That way you're attached not only at the bead and make sure it's nice and tight, but you're attached through the necklace as well. So do that on both sides. Tie some half hitch knots, do the other side, and then come back and we'll add the extender and the clasp and we'll be done. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So I have one side done, and the other side I'm going to have to wait for my pearls to come in because I ran out. So let's do this extender and add the clasp, and then we'll be done. All right, so let's... So here we're exiting, or you actually put on a thread, actually. I would add this on separately. So add a thread. Make sure you're coming out of this pearl at the end here. Either side, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to pick up... An 
a bicone. I only have fire polish, so I'm going to use those. 11 0 fire polish, 11 0 bicone of fire polish, and 11 0. So I have three 4 millimeter beads with four 11 0s in between. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this one, the same one that I'm exiting on the other side, like that. It's going to add on the extender. I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to sew through this one across here. I'm going to go up this side. I'm just going to make a turn and just pop right down here. Just so I can get back to this one right here and then just go through that bead. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. And I think I went through, <laughs> not sure, this one like that. I'm going to pick up an 11 0 a fire polish, 11 0 fire polish, 11 0 and a fire polish, and an 11 0 And I, these, these look so big. I wonder if they're five millimeter fire polish. I can't really tell. They look big. And then I'm just going to go through the other side of the bead I'm exiting. That puts on another unit. So I kind of added this unit to the outside and then I'm adding the rest of the units to the inside. Sew around your unit. If you need another unit, do another unit and so on. And you could just add them on as you need them and then so get as many units as you need done and then come back and we'll put the clasp on. All right, let's put the clasp on. So these, I love these little fold over clasps. It's magnetic, but you really don't even need the magnet. It just holds so nicely. I think they're from Fire Mountain Gems. I'll put a link below for you. So here, I'm just going to attach it like this. So I'm exiting. I actually um, reinforced my last unit a couple of times. Exiting the fire polish bead. I'm going to sew up through one of the holes in this clasp like that. So I have a, you know, 11 0 through the hole. There are three holes there. I'm just going to use two of them. I'm going to pick up three 11 0s. And I'm going to sew back through that last hole that's in there and pull like that. And then I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and sew through the other side of the fire polish, like that. And I'm gonna reinforce the heck out of that. So, you know, just go through all the beads again, and then do the same exact thing on your other side, which I don't have a side because I ran out, and even my necklace is way too short um, because I didn't have enough pearls, but I wanted to get, you know, at least a sample done for you on camera, of course, so here you go. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like. So get that done, get the other side done, and then I will, uh, for, as a bonus clip, I will put on the, uh, we'll attach some of these, um, the drops here. All right, see you in a few. Okay, so should we make this a glorious necklace? <laughs> so we'll just very easily add these drops. Now you can, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could add them in a way that you could take them off? So you could just wear it like this casually, and then this if you want to get super dressed up. I mean, maybe you could do a jump ring. There might be a way or something to do, but I'm just going to add it on, you know, permanently. And you can, uh, just a, an idea, you know, that you might want to explore. Okay, so I'm going to take these three away for the moment. I'm going to add this one. So you can add, I'm just going to connect the two bicones. You can put a three millimeter there. I'm just going to put an 11 0 here. I just want to make it simple. So through the bicone. Through the bicone on the other side. So just very simple connection like that. And then of course you're going to um, sew, you know, sew that in. And you know, you could even, if you want to get fancy, you can come through this one and then add a few beads and come through this one. You know, play with the connection. So this is just the super simple way of connecting it, just like that. Um, and then for these guys, let's see. Let's 
I would put this one, let's just make sure, I'm putting it so it's nice and even. All right, so I would probably add this one. Let me pull up a little bit. I would add this one with these two seed beads here. So I'd go through this like this, put a stop bead on, pick up an 11 0 so through this one. Like that. And then another 11 0. I'd go right back through this one. Yeah, I mean, you need a strong connection, but it, you know, they're just the drops, so it doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy. So I think that's perfect just like that. I would do that on all of them. Might even consider, well, putting maybe, yeah, the pearl or the bicone on either side here, but that's how I would connect that, that one. So go ahead and get all your connections done. I'll connect them all, and then we'll come back and take a look at our necklaces and be done. Okay, we're back and we're done. And I just love it. I think it came out great. It's just, it was just so much fun to revisit this design. I snapped a little picture for you just to show you how it looks on the neck. So let's see if I can, here we go. There you go. I, I think I love it. I think it's so pretty and doesn't look great with my Nike tank top. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you uh, make this. I hope you post it on Facebook. This is my holiday set. I'm going glam. Glam, 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 glamming it up. All right. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.